more Singaporeans are becoming aware of climate change and are willing to take action to preserve a more livable world for our future generations. Today we'll meet a mother who's looking for an eco-friendly home which aligns with her climate conscious way of life. Hi, my name is Yvonne and this is my daughter Skylar. She is currently six years old. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I'm currently managing two home-based businesses. I organize virtual guided meditations and curate crystal terrarium for customers who have different types of emotional needs. So some of the eco-friendly things that I do is that I do not have air conditioning in my living room and other than that, I do recycling on a weekly basis. So I wanted to lead a minimalist lifestyle and definitely an eco-friendly one. That's the reason why I wanted to move to a bigger place where I can accomplish a little dream of mine which is to have a herb garden at home. I cook daily and my current kitchen has an open concept layout and therefore the fumes will flow into the living room. And the size is too small for me to prepare our daily like breakfast, lunch or dinner. Currently, my daughter sleeps with me and therefore it would be great if she can have her own room. My daughter loves to play the piano so therefore I need to have the space to accommodate our piano and for Skylar to do her cartwheels, her painting. At the same time, I would prefer the house to be uh, more functional, to have uh, tons of storage space and a lot of wood accent because that's what I really like, something warm and cosy. It would be great if you can actually uh, plant air plants around the house to improve the air quality of the home. Last but not least, we often do meditation. So it would be great if you can have our meditation area for us to do our daily wind down. Yvonne, Skylar. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice Hi. to meet you too. Okay, so here we are in Bedok South, mm -hmm. and this is my area, so wow. I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> <laughs> so across the street, we have East Coast Park. Mm -hmm. I love the vibe. Perfect. All right, yeah. shall we see the place? Yeah, sure. All right, come on, guys. Okay, here we are in the first place, but before we go in, I want to show you this, which is pretty cool. They've decided to put their recycling out here. Skylar, where do you put your recycling? Blue bin. That's right, yes. in the blue bin. Learning from mommy. Yes. So what's cool about this is it aesthetically pleasing. Right. It's nice and also right. it promotes recycling to your neighbors too. Yes, right? it is. They can yes. see this and be like, oh, maybe we should do that too. Yeah, but and maybe it could be a common area for all of them to do recycling together. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. shall we go in? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go, guys. This is the first place. It's a 1,001 square foot, four room flat. And the great part about it is it's north-south facing, which obviously keeps it cool without yeah. too much cooling cost. Yes. Then we have a lot of wood look throughout the place, right up into the cabinetry. So if you come yes. into the living room, the first thing you'll notice is the plants in the nooks. Right. These are plastic, obviously, mm -hmm. but this was designed so you can actually grow hydroponically here. Wow, I didn't so, know I could do that. Yes. <laughs> so what's your favorite vegetables? Cabbage. Cabbage, all right. Okay. So we can grow some cabbage right on yes. the walls in your living room. <laughs> That's great. So lots of storage mm -hmm. as well. All of your boxes and your cables for the TV just hidden right behind there. Right. And then if you look over here, mm -hmm. we've got a low cabinet, mm -hmm. which provides for more storage. You yep. can put some throw pillows on there. You can hang out, sit, you know, if you have friends over. Fantastic. I love it that the furniture is also like um, multifunctional. Come on in guys, I want to show you the view. So these blinds are pretty cool. They are special Korean blinds and they've got a nice little function to them. Yeah. And then when you bring it up, oh, kind of looks cool. Plus you get a nice view. Well, the good thing is it's safe. You don't have to worry about Skylar because we've got the invisible grills right here. That's perfect. And it also has UV treatment on here, so you're gonna mm. save on your cooling bills. That's like really important for us, yeah? Good, good, <laughs> yes. It's all about sustainability, and that's what we're going for here. Yes. Okay, Vaughn, here is your office. Wow, I love it. Good, so mm -hmm. what I'm worried about is yeah. you having enough counter space. Yes, I don't have enough. <laughs> so would this L-shaped desk mm -hmm. work for you? Definitely, because oh, really? I'm the only one who's working from home. Okay, yeah. and then maybe you can do your schoolwork here too. Oh, that's great, yeah. right? So it can be shared with mommy as well. Mm -hmm. So out here, we've got this all glassed off instead of walled off, just to keep it more of an airy, open feeling while you're trying to get your work done. And you're also looking straight at all the plants. Yes, which is, you know, greens are good for our eyes. Very good. Mm -hmm. So if this is not enough space though, then we can do this. Watch this, Skylar. 
My wow. goodness! Wow! What is so that? So that is where you can sit and do your homework. And when it's down, it can be used as a bed. Wow, this place looks zen. I love it. And I can actually do my crystal meditation here. And there's plenty of storage space. Put the stuff and like toys and whatnot. Into the dining room we go. Lovely dining room, simple. We've got the dining table directly under this panel on the ceiling, which has cove lighting. Mm -hmm. So it's symmetrical. Right. I'm thinking over here because, mm -hmm. Skylar, you play piano, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking a wall piano could go right here. Yes. As upright but, piano would be great. Upright piano, that's mm -hmm. right. Yep. What you might dig is that this table is soir, more commonly known as the rain tree here in Singapore. Oh, I see. So uh -huh. this is more sustainable than teak. I love it because I love like the wood aesthetic and you know the surface is very smooth, it's not rough. I think it's a great place. It's very functional and I love it. Okay, and now I want to show you the kitchen. Okay. Come on in. This was actually completely open. There was no wall here before, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they decided to wall it off, but not completely put a nice big piece of glass in here so you can see through. And this gives you nice counter space too. To do all the preparation and whatnot. So that's a nice look. You can mm -hmm. actually see out and see what Skylar's doing if she's playing the piano right. or just keep an eye on her, right? Yes. And you've got a gas stove over here, the quartz countertops, quartz backsplash. It's a functional kitchen, very functional. What I love about the service yard, plenty of space to hang the clothes, but you're also getting that east facing sun, which is the morning sun. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be too hot, yet it can dry your clothes. And then a huge countertop out there oh, to do all your folding. Wow, I love it. Big help, right? Yes, I would love that place. Okay, I want to show you this room, Skylar. It's not exactly you, but I think we can make it you. So we've got a nice square space here. Let me guess, you want a bunk bed, don't you? Yes. Okay, what else? You want to slide on the bunk bed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here, basically, obviously, we're gonna pull this stuff out and you guys can do whatever you want here. I'm thinking a bunk bed could go right here and just make it Skylar's. Let me show you the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. This is a decent space for a master bedroom. And since you're not going to be sleeping with mommy anymore because you'll have your own room. Oh, perfect. Finally, I have my, you know, like romantic room with my husband. There you, know, you without go. Without the kid, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And we've got some cove lighting right above the bed, so no direct lighting on you, but still nice ambience for the room. Okay. And we have the wardrobe with the tall chevron pattern. And so it actually elongates it even more. It would be great if I can add some air plants here. Without soy, I guess, they would definitely live longer. And yeah. it would look nice in here, and it would mm -hmm. really make the room a bit warmer, wouldn't right, it? Right, right. And all the rooms have ceiling fans. Mm. So you can save. <gasps> yes, save the planet, save the bills. <laughs> <laughs> nice Heroes yeah. reference, I love it, yeah. yeah. So, simple, does the trick, not too small. And we've got a rain shower in here, and a glass partition. I hope this suits your needs. What I do like is we have a window there right. so you can open it up so it doesn't get too musty in mm -hmm, here, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So we do have two bathrooms. Mm -hmm. This is the master ensuite. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what do you think? Oh, I like the place because it's um, it really fits my breath. Um, I like it that it's woody and it's very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, I like the vertical wall planters. It would be great if I can add some air plants without soy, I guess. And the best thing about that place is uh, I have my own dedicated room where I can work and also meditate and at the same time watch over Skylar when she's studying or playing. So we've left my neighborhood and welcome to Pungal. Wow, this place is just a couple of train stops from my current place. Oh really? Yes. Oh that's so cool. Yeah. That's good to know. So. Pungal is the first estate to be developed as an eco town. So you have efficient energy, you have efficient water, efficient waste management. So you're out in nature here. It's really nice. Wow, that's cool. Ready to see the place? Yes. All right, let's go. Okay, very excited to show you place number two. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Yes, it is. Oh okay, yeah. but I want to show you something really cool. Mm -hmm. Skylar, check this out. Mm -hmm. This is a two-in-one door. So it's a huge door. You're like wondering, why is it so thick? Yeah. That's because if you open it up here, mm -hmm. you've got the grill built into the door. Oh. So keeps you nice and safe, wow. breezy coming through. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nice, right? And if you take a broad look mm -hmm. at the unit, you'll see that we have tons of wood look everywhere all throughout the house. Yeah. This floor you're standing on right now mm -hmm. goes throughout the entire house, which gives it a very nice and breathy wide look. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is 1,260 square feet. Mm -hmm. It's five rooms, mm -hmm. three bedrooms, and it's a biophilic look, which means that mm -hmm. It's kind of bringing the outdoors inside, the indoors outside. We're kind of one with nature here. Oh my God, it's ideal for us. Great, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at what we have to start with. We have the dry kitchen, mm -hmm. and this is a nice breakfast area to just be able to chill out and have a cup of coffee while you're nice. looking at the beautiful, uh, mm -hmm. well, it is plastic plants, but they're, it's a really nice, uh, nicely done. Yes, it is. Pleasing for the eyes, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so you have the fluted wood paneling here all yeah. along the house and all mm -hmm. along the dry kitchen. Lots of storage under there. And you said you need counter space. I need tons of it. So mm -hmm. you can do whatever you need to do here. Even work here might be nice. Yeah. So having the dry kitchen out here, you also have plenty of room for a double door fridge. And then we have a built-in water dispenser under mm -hmm. here. You got the tank. <gasps> Wow, great. Nice and healthy water. Yes. This used to be all walled off, mm -hmm. but they opened it up a bit here as well mm -hmm. and put the glass door here. I like the flow, it's really good. All right, well let's mm -hmm. flow on into the kitchen. Yeah. We have simple kitchen, a little more space than the last unit. There's room for two of us to walk. It's right. not so tight. Right. And again, tons of counter space, and I just love it. Then you've got your wood paneling again, the tempered glass, mm -hmm. and it's also back sprayed, so you have the white behind it. And then if you come on in here, they've mm -hmm. basically absorbed the service yard, and they've turned it into part of the kitchen. What's really cool about this is we have a wet utility area right here in the kitchen. You just don't see that in HDBs. Yeah, I've never seen it in my friend's house either. Yeah, so I was thinking this could be for your composting, right? That'd be fun, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have a water heater right here that's mm -hmm. very, very eco-friendly. It's gonna save on the bills, save on the water, because mm -hmm. uh, it immediately heats your water up and you don't waste any water while you're heating it up. Right, save the planet, save the bill. Exactly, that's mm -hmm. the theme here. Yeah. So here we are. Skylar, how about we uh, see one of those cartwheels you were doing? Wow! wow. See all that room you have? Skylar has tons of room to mm -hmm. just run around, do whatever she wants, and it's so beautiful at the same time. Along with that biophilic theme, we have these wall panelings that are just all over the place. It feels like it's like an oasis here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then along here, we have this settee, so mm -hmm. you can sit on it, but it's also very functional because there's lots of storage underneath, so you just pull out the panels. They're all hidden, so no mm -hmm. handles on it, and uh, nice fluted wood paneling here, so it goes along with the biophilic theme as well because if you look at it it's a wave right oh, okay. so wow. it's part of nature yeah so come on in guys take a look at this beautiful wall in between two of the uh, plant panels this is actually soft stone mm -hmm. and what they did was they sliced it very thin so you've got the front layer the facade of it which is all real stone it's real it's, it's real, real stone, stone. Mm -hmm. so there you have it and lots of room you come over here mm -hmm. into the dining room yeah this is very clever what they've done here. So they've created this nook, which mm -hmm. is also a seat for the other side of the dining table. Wow. And it's got some lighting inside, which mm -hmm. brings out some of the characteristics of it. And then you've got the textured wallpaper behind, which again, as you can see, is a leaf design. Yeah. Skylar, why don't you try it? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I personally love the arch because it's really cozy and I think when my friends come, it's a really great place to entertain as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of storage space. Right, mm -hmm. even underneath the bench yeah. seat. And we have a pretty big planter outside there. So you can plant whatever you want and mm -hmm. then use your compost wow. to help it grow. Oh, okay, that's great. It's a great idea. And then we can go farm to table, right? Alrighty, I'm thinking that this is your room, Skylar. Wow. Here's what we have here, the wood theme right out through the bedroom as well, and quite a bit of wardrobe space for Skylar. And look at that, you've got your own TV here, if mom allows it. We also have a desk, which can double up as just a counter space for anything. It also has a vanity inside that you mm. can lift up. Wow. 
And then behind the headboard of the bed, that was actually built out to cover up the aircon trunking. Wow. And it also creates a nice little nook to put some displays. Mm. But I imagine you probably have a favorite color. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. All right. So would you paint that wall blue? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think we can allow that, right, Mom? Of course. <laughs> and so we have two guest bedrooms, which basically mirror each other. One right over there that just looks pretty much the same thing. And I was thinking mm -hmm. you could use that for your meditation room or... Yeah, basically home office. Home office. Slash meditation, whatnot. Here we go, very functional master bedroom that I think you guys are gonna like. So again, the wood theme penetrating throughout the whole house. Lots of wardrobe space here, mm -hmm. floor to ceiling, all wood look. It's not too much wood for you? It's not too much I love. It okay. just brings out, you know, the nature yep. into yep. this house. Beautiful. All right, mm -hmm. so let me explain what we have here. We have a desk that can be, uh, you can sit this way and use it as the vanity. Mm -hmm. And then you can also sit, see, check it out, Skylar. You can climb up here and you can sit here. Put your feet in and you can use the desk this way if you want. Cool. So yeah, pretty cool, right? And then of course we have all of the outlets right here, all the wires hidden away with this little nook. And then also this is for you, Mama. Oh, I really need this. I love how everything is being organized and I love the extension being hidden inside this area. It's yeah. such a yes. functional and clever idea. Good, good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. So, yeah. Skylar, what do you think? You've got two beds in here. Are you going to sleep with mommy now or are you going to take your own bedroom? Your choice. You're sleeping sleep with, with mommy. Me still? Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, then you have two spare bedrooms. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Well, obviously, this is great because mm -hmm. they've built this up so there's just more storage space in here. You got storage under these steps, you've got storage under the beds, and then Yvonne, you'll be happy to know that all the paint and all the laminate throughout the whole house is certified eco-friendly. Oh, that's great. All right, so here we have the ensuite bathroom to the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. And there's also another bathroom right next door, which would be for Skylar, that has very similar aesthetics. So what we have here, what I love about it, is we've got these huge 24 inch tiles here that kind of gives you that hotel look. And you've got the rain shower in the bathroom, you've got the nook for all your shampoos, and then if you look at the wall behind the sink, that is Spanish tile, something that you're not gonna see very often. I don't think I've seen it before. Yes, very uh -huh. specific type of Spanish uh -huh. tile, which has an incredible pattern on it, and it's raised, so you've got a lot of texture there. And even to bring out more texture in the bathroom is this mirror, which is set in front of the wall with a cove light behind it. Wow, I love the look and feel. It feels so zen, so neat and tidy. <laughs> yeah. And it also makes it look neat, too, when you have the raised up sink when it's floating. So that also adds to that organized nice, neat look. Mm, yes. So, what do you think? What I like about the place is it has a compost area, which is one of my three. Uh, basically, I've always been wanting to do composting at home, but I find it's very difficult to do it in my current place. And the decor and um, the furniture itself is so aesthetically pleasing. What I really like about this place is the nook area because it's really cozy with the arch and I think it's very functional and it's definitely the best place to entertain guests at home. In terms of the house layout, it's really spacious and Skylar can do her cartwheels and her kicks at home uh, whenever I'm busy with like other chores. We saw a home with a motorized tatami lift table in Madok and one in Pongol with giant green walls. Now that Yvonne and her daughter have had some time to think, let's hear from her. Our favorite house is number two. It's really spacious and it really fits my requirement of like doing composting in Singapore because I have never ever done composting at all. I love it. They have a segregated area to do all the wash off, which is um, near the kitchen. I've always wanted to have my very own herb garden and the place at Pongo makes it possible because um, outside the balcony there's plenty of space for me to grow my very own like vegetables. So another feature about the house is I love the nook area because it's a great entertainment space for my friends to come over. Personally, I don't really favour the green wall as of now because it's all like decor with fake plants. So I definitely want to decorate it with like air plants which is uh, much more easier to maintain as well. So the house at Bodo is pretty nice as well but I would prefer to have more space to do more like soy gardening. I want my new house to enable us to lead a more eco-friendly lifestyle. 
Creating beautiful homes doesn't have to be at the cost of damaging our planet. Thanks for watching Chic and Cozy, where you can live large yet sustainably. Thank you.